I started thinking about this guy that I had made out with a couple of times back home. And um, he hadn't called me since I moved and I hadn't called him. And um, I was like, you know, he's probably intimidated. Uh, you know, he's probably doesn't know exactly what to say to me. He's, I moved to New York. He's living in his parents' basement. I'm going to give him a call. And uh, I called him and I was like, hey, what's up? And he was like, oh, are you going to Mac's party? I'm like, I live in New York. I moved to New York like a year ago. Uh, 12 months, 360 something days, you know? And uh, he was like, that's too bad because Mac's party's going to be sick. <laughs> and, and I hung up and I was like, oh, I didn't feel good, you know? And um, I was like disappointed in myself. I was like, here you are, you know, you packed up, you moved, you wanted to do something different, and now you're like reaching back and, and you know, reaching out to people who don't care about you anymore or maybe never did and uh, I started looking up therapists and uh, I found a therapist 10 minute walk from my apartment I, I picked her based on proximity because <laughs> uh, I wanted help but I didn't want a fucking hassle you know uh, <laughs> I, uh, I just moved to New York I just had a big hassle you know I wanted something to be easy so I went and um, I got to say, I really liked her. She was stylish. And um, I, that was one of the things when I came here that I really wanted to do. You know, I wanted to be stylish. Uh, I wanted to have, like, the courage to be stylish that my mother had. And, um, and I, you know, she was, I always paid her in cash. That was my big thing. Uh, I didn't want, like, a paper trail of my, me <laughs> of my, of my menial gripes. Um, but I like to call it my hush money. And, uh after every session, I'd stand up and I'd count it out and very dramatically say, this ought to help you keep your mouth shut. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I was in th so I was in therapy with this woman and I didn't realize how, uh, how many like defense mechanisms I had in place, you know, like whatever, repression and, and projection, intellectualization, that was my big one. I love to talk about all this stuff, but I didn't actually like feel it. And, um, and she, would, uh, she was always trying to steer the direction like of the conversation towards my father. And uh, I knew what she was doing, uh, <laughs> analyzing me. <laughs> so obvious. Uh, but, the th but the thing is, uh, I didn't want to have daddy issues. You know, I want to be fucked up in a different way. <laughs> uh, I, wa I, wa I, I did. I wanted her to be like, I've never seen a case like this before in my life. <laughs> You're very interesting uh, and unique. Uh, we didn't study this in therapy school. I'm not sure I can help you. There's one man in Austria. Uh, lives in a mountain. You have to hike there barefoot. Uh, follow the doves. Uh, but I really, I did. I, I, I didn't want to, I didn't want any of my issues to have anything to do with my father. And a lot of times I would even start my sessions like this has nothing to do with my father. Um... But I would just tell her, you know, factual stories that I could tell she thought were more deep than they than I did. Uh, I, like I told her, like we had a, um, when I went to the University of Miami, I lived in a house off campus with three of my friends, and we on when we graduated, we we're gonna have a big party and have all our families meet each other. And so my my father uh, flew down, my mother flew down separate, my sister was already there going as an undergrad, and um, we had the party. And so everyone comes back. My father drives up in his rental car and proceeds to park outside like he's on surveillance. And uh, I don't ask any questions. You know, I'm bringing him pizza, bringing him cake. And, uh, and my therapist is like foaming at the mouth. She's so excited, you know. She's like, oh, how'd you feel? Uh, I was like, leading question. No, but no, we, we, we never really had, we never confronted uh, anything in my family, especially anger. You know, it was like, oh, you want to sit down and talk for five minutes about something you did that pissed me off? I think I'll opt for the act vaguely uninterested in you for five to seven years option. Uh, see if you ever wear the same prom dress as me again. <laughs> um. But at this point, like in in my time with my therapist, I hadn't talked to my father in a, in, in a couple of years, and um, and I feel like going there, I wanted to go in like on a Tuesday at one and leave at two and be like, thank God I took care of that, you know, um, 
but it was it was you know therapy you got to go for a long time very gradual and you know i feel like during the course of seeing her i started wearing you know my vintage numbers no one would ask me questions uh, i was picking better guys um i will say like i remember uh i at the time I had been involved with a guy that sort of like ghosted me. They didn't have that term then. Uh, and I had been dating him for like three months and then he disappeared, showed up like a month later at the bar I worked at and actually nothing ever happened. And, and I was like, Oh really? We're going to date for three months. You disappear. You show up at the bar I work at like nothing ever happened. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make sweet, sweet love to you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah teach you a lesson <laughs> but I did I I started staying away from guys like that and I felt like you know what I I think I was over like I I, I was over therapy but I didn't know how to address it and I noticed I started bringing like my lunch with me to my sessions and uh and it's hard to like really get deep while you're eating a meatball sub you know what I mean uh, so eventually we had a discussion about it. No more eating. Uh, and I said, uh, let's just call it quits. Um, and, uh, but I was happy with, like, with the services I got there and all that stuff. And like two years later, after all that, my father passed away. And, uh, and I was like, oh, should I call her? Because we spent a lot of time talking about him. And then I was like, nah, she might think I had something to do with it. <laughs> and just let it go. 